every morning with drive Been on the grind, know I had to survive We had to win Started from the dirt and the rubble I had to be the needle that was popping your bubble Let Hello and welcome into the Rookie Prospect Profile Series This is a Zilla Fantasy Elite production Today we're going to be looking at wide receiver Johnny Wilson within the wide receiver machine learning models. Can Johnny Wilson go from six round draft pick into a fantasy darling? Discover the outcome as our machine learning models have the final say. Johnny Wilson was drafted in the sixth round, pick number 185 by the Philadelphia Eagles. He previously played college at Arizona State and then transferred to Florida State for the final two seasons of his collegiate career. Finds himself at 6'6", 231 pounds, 37-inch vertical, ran a 4.52 in the 40-yard dash, which is pretty solid at his size. That's a 118.3 speed score, which is super good. 35.375-inch arms, so that's 35 and 3 eighths inches. Long reach there. Can he maintain a wide receiver status in the NFL, or is he going to be one of these guys that transitions into tight end? Let's go look at his year one model here. And we see mean and median here at 2.86, 2.82, 35th best in the class out of 41 total. Not very good here indeed. So looking at the about two and a half to three point range in the rookie season, who hit that? Well, there's actually quite a few people in between 2.71 and 2.95. Bottom of that list at 2.71 is Sky Moore in his rookie season. Malcolm Perry, Jerron Brown, Valus Jones, Dwayne Eskridge, David Bell, Roger Lewis, DJ Chark, Tyler Johnson, Van Jefferson, and Kyle Phillips in their rookie season, really saying that it expects him to be in this particular range. Maximum output at 6.78 is not very good either. That's Denzel Mims in his rookie season, 6.74. Just above that, Steven Sims, Marquez Valdez-Scantling, Dante Moncrief. A little bit below that, Devin Funches, Keith Kirkwood, Tajay Sharp, Taylor Gabriel all hit 6.6 .6 fantasy points. So not a very good list of people, even at the maximum output here for Johnny Wilson. Unfortunately for the Eagles, doesn't look like he's going to be that good of a prospect in year one. What do we see going into year two? Well, we see a slight bump up here, 3.93 in the median, 3.8 in, excuse me, 3.93 in the mean, 3.8 in the median, rank 31 and 31 here. I believe he was a 28th wide receiver off the board, so not very good. Uh, compared to that either maximum output 9.74 also not very good so let's go peek around that four fantasy point range in the second season what is he looking like in terms of historical context people that reach this this is all the players in between 3.84 which is sky Moore again and then javon wims geronimo allison maurice harris michael campanero Keyshawn johnson and then all at 4.1, we have Chad Williams, Braxton Miller, Trent Taylor, and Trey Quinn. Not an exciting list of players hovering around that four fantasy point per game range. The maximum output at 9.74 isn't even all that good. All these guys in between 10.02 and 9.5. And We've got J.J. Nelson, Nico Collins, Terrence Williams, Quintez Cephas, Van Jefferson, and Brandon Ayuk. All in their second season, hovering right around 9.5 to 10 fantasy points per game. That's if Johnny Wilson hits a ceiling in year two. Again, he's a big guy, six foot six, 230 pounds. He might be one of those guys that ends up transitioning into a tight end in the NFL. Pretty interesting, though, that he was outproducing Keon Coleman, who went you know, early, early second round. I think the first pick of the second round, he was better in florida state's offense that final year than keon coleman in terms of target share yards per route run things like that all of his advanced metrics were better than keon coleman so it's kind of weird that he got a little bit dinged in terms of draft capital i think just a, a different size here for the nfl teams let's take a peek at year three see if we see any sort of increase here and we get a mild one mean and median up a little bit 4.19 and 3.85 respectively we do see a lot of the predictions condense right in between the 25th 
percentile in the mean there so three and a half to four fantasy points per game probably where he's going to end up in year three if he's still a wide receiver the maximum output at 14 though in year three is pretty solid 14th best in the class let's go take a peek first at the three and a half to four range in year three see if we get another sky more or anybody like that in there we get guys named cody core josh huff zay jones chad bb Terrace Marshall, KJ Hamler, Trey McBride, the wide receiver, Corey Brown, Deshaun Hamilton, and Freddie Martino, all in between three and a half to four, where it's predicting most of his predictions here. However, that maximum output, 15.11, is really solid. If this guy really hits a ceiling, we're looking at almost the top 20 historical contacts in the last 11 draft classes, who has at least played three seasons in the league. That's Will Fuller in year three, hit 15.2. DK Metcalf next below that at 14.37. So a pretty big drop off there. And then uh, Jarvis Landry, 14.3. Devonta Smith, 14.23. And then a little bit above Will Fuller, we have Hunter Renfro, 15.24. Devonte Adams, 15.3. Kenny Galladay hit 15.5, who's maybe a better uh, comparison to Johnny Wilson for historical context with Kenny Galladay being a, a longer, excuse me, a taller guy. If he hits a ceiling, he could be Kenny Galladay there, but I don't think that's going to be happening anytime soon. Uh, getting into the year four, we do see the maximum come down, the mean and median roughly the same, very, very slight bump up. So those are at 4.17 and 3.93 respectively, uh, 28th best in the class. Let's go look at those year four values. Who does it look like? Here's the names in between 3.86 and 4.4. We have Ashton Doolin, Quez Watkins, Bryce Butler, Ray Ray McLeod, James Washington, and Jakeem Grant. And then that maximum output at 11.49. It's T. Higgins last year at 11.47. Marquise Lee, 11.2. Deontay Johnson, 10.63. A little bit above that, Russell Gage actually hit 11.64, Nicole Hardman 11.73, Adam Humphreys 11.8. That's if he hits a ceiling there. That's the 23rd one, 23rd ranked one in the class. Again, Johnny Wilson not looking like a very good prospect within the machine learning model. Late draft choice doesn't look like he's got much upside. Probably somebody you can leave on your bench, but keep your ear to the ground in terms of, hey, Johnny Wilson's going to transition into a tight end. I could certainly run this profile through the tight end model and see what it looks like. I haven't done that yet, but if it does come about or we hear some rumblings, I'll put him through that tight end model and just see what spits out for him in years one through four. All right, that's going to do it for this rookie prospect profile on Johnny Wilson. Appreciate you tuning in. This is presented by Zilla Fantasy Elite. Bye.